Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. So in this video I'm going to be sharing some of my favourite things from recently from makeup to telly to drinks and things like that. So if you want to see some more then keep watching. My goodness that I've been so excited about filming this video because they are one of my favourites to film and to watch as I say every time I just love them I love sharing things that I like and getting like suggestions from other people especially at the moment because wow it's lockdown too it started today um i actually filmed this video once already but there were a few things that i wanted to add to it and i decided to film it again because if i can bring some suggestions that might make you happy or just bring a bit of joy to your day then that's what i want to do so i'm going to get cracker lacking i've got loads of things to share and i'm going to start with beauty and skincare because i've got quite a few things that i have been loving as in really loving and i definitely want to share those with you so let me get them we're going to start with skincare now i have found since having stan i don't know why i don't know what's happened but my skin it's not been it's not been great to be honest tom it's been really quite bad i don't i honestly don't know what it is because generally speaking in terms of my diet i'm not eating anything completely out of the ordinary i do wonder if um the corona coaster that we're all on at the moment is contributing a little bit due to like stress uh maskne is real and um it's ruining the bottom half of faces everywhere at the moment um but it is what it is and i've really really tried to look at my skin and look at what it needs and try and fix it 2020 for me has also been the year of tiktok <laughs> i will never participate on it purely because i do not have that much confidence um you know the most you'll ever see from me is me sharing it or like you might occasionally see me going me 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 but i'm not going to do that now don't worry um but there is a guy on there called hiram who is like this skincare guru he has beautiful shiny fresh plump skin um so i have been taking some of his suggestions on board and you know what i'm going to share i'm sure you know if you you watch tiktok or like you've not been under a rock for most of this year CeraVe, I think that's how you say it. I'm not going to get into alternative pronunciations right now because we'll be here all day. Um, I have seen this brand so many times in the past and never, ever, ever thought to pick it up because initially I thought, because it says it's developed with dermatologists, I always thought it was for people that have, say, like acne prone skin or certain conditions like maybe eczema where it needs like sensitive products and i always just thought oh it's probably not for me um slightly hormonal like tired mum skin i mean is there is there a market for that um but these are the two that i went for as per his recommendations so um oh, i don't know how to go through this i think one well, right so <laughs> these are the cerave products that i have and i will run through them all in a sec but I'm also using them in conjunction with the DHC Deep Cleansing Oil, which looks, again, a very basic product, but I love it. Um, this is a cleansing oil as you would use, say, um, the Pixie Cleansing Balm, the Body Shop Cleansing Balm uh liz oil that kind of thing you know when you rub it into your skin remove it with a flannel which is what i use because it's extra exfoliation or like a um muslin cloth that type of thing um but i i feel like i'm converted to this you can see how much i've used i whizzed through it and i love it um i think i don't know where i got the recommendation of this from i forget but it's just it's really, really good at what it does, and it doesn't irritate my skin either. I was really, really enjoying the Body Shop Chamomile Balm Cleanser type thing, but I did notice that that seemed to be breaking me out as well. It was almost like it was too rich, which is very unusual because that is a very sensitive product, but for my skin, just wasn't getting on with it. I didn't want to go back to Liz Earl because that's expensive. Um, and there were other products that I was trying that just weren't 100%, but I've tried this and I love it. It's not massively expensive as products go. I think I bought it from Look Fantastic. I do need another one very soon because I can't be without it. But that is great. So I start with that, remove, I do like a few pumps on my hand, remove everything. I wear quite a lot of makeup because that's how I roll. I like makeup. Um, so I take it all off first and then I do one small pump and do it again just to really make sure that all the makeup is off my skin. Then I will go in with the CeraVe Foaming Cleanser. This is for normal to oily skin. There is a another one which is like got a blue bottle and I think 
I can't remember what it's called, but that one, I used to sample with that, that one broke me out. It was just too much for my skin, but this one, my skin really likes it. It has ceramides, niacinamide, which is also something that features in an ordinary product. If you've seen those pipette bottles before, I also have that for when I have severe breakouts. And it's also got hyaluronic acid in. It's fragrance free, really gentle, and my skin loves it. So I use that after I've cleansed. I also use this in the morning in the shower just to wash away the probably drool, to be honest. <laughs> <laughs> the night before and then once that is all done i will then moisturize so i have two options here this is a moisturizing lotion it's for dry to very dry skin however my skin gets on fine with this and i think all skin types will as per Hiram's recommendation um and i will put this on and then go ahead and put like my makeup on and that kind of thing but if i'm feeling especially dry one second if I am feeling especially dry, I will use the hydrating um, cream rather than the lotion. For some reason, I bought this off a website and they sent me a German one, I think it is. So this is the Fuchtekeit Creme or something like that. It wasn't right, was it? But um, this is what I use if I feel like I need a little bit of extra moisture, which I do find the older I'm getting, the less oily I am and the drier I am. And obviously, like at this time of year, your skin gets dry because of the weather and stuff. So I'm obsessed. I am such a convert and I can't see myself changing my mind now because I'm really enjoying using them unless they bring out a product that is like proven to cure like acne and spots and um, wrinkles and whatever that I don't think I'll be switching anytime soon because I just really like my routine and I'm seeing results even when I had a really bad mask knee breakout and a breakout because of a foundation you're wobbling because a little puppy just banged into you more on him later um they really helped to sort out my skin really quickly and I was so grateful for them so yeah these are as good as people on the internet say they are just another person <laughs> shouting about it now so i'm going to chuck those onto the sofa i'm whizzing through this video because i also have to go and do the school run too later in a bit and i have a thousand things to do before that can happen next thing also um it's funny really because like my job is termed as an influencer and i think that sometimes people think that we're not influenced as well like we're not people we are we are definitely people and i'm influenced all the time and this is what this uh, next product is now i think i mentioned here before but if i haven't i'm pretty sure she was in a favorites video she's a lady i say lady she's a girl lady called bailey sarian and my favorite thing about her is that she does videos where she does her makeup one of my passions and talks about a murder or true crime another one of my slightly weird passions but i feel like everybody enjoys a good murder documentary or something like that i don't know what it is it must be like that weird curiosity in us when like you wonder what the dark side is like i don't know but she is amazing she's so funny i love her attitude she's not judgy she's Oh, she's hilarious, she's beautiful, she's intelligent. I absolutely am fangirling because I think she's great. And one of the foundations that I've seen her use, which is, I think it's an American one, but I was able to buy it online. I will leave a link down below to where I got it from. Is Catrice Cosmetics um, HD Liquid Coverage Foundation. Lasts up to 24 hours. It's mattifying, water and sweat proof, and has a second skin effect. I have it in the shade Sand Beige, which is a really good match for me right now. I think that... If I fake tan, it would definitely be too light. Um, I'm on the cusp of wanting to fake tan, I will, I will admit. But it is beautiful. Like, it is, it doesn't, it doesn't like feel like you've got loads of stuff on your skin, if that makes sense, which is kind of what I want a foundation to do. Plus, it's incredibly decent coverage, but because it feels like it's water-based, it's very runny, it doesn't feel like thick or heavy or claggy on the skin. And since I've been using it, um, I've not had as many mask-related breakouts. It seems to be a lot better in terms of like breathability and like not mixing too much with my breath and the bacteria. I don't know, I don't know, but it just works for me. And I love the effect that it gives and the fact that it lasts really well. The foundation that did break me out was a Rimmel one that I bought because I was trying to buy something that was a little bit more affordable. This set me back, I think £6.99, so it's nothing at all. Um, if you are in the US, it may well even be cheaper than that for you. Um, and you're probably like, oh my God, like, why are you going on about that? It's old news, but for me, it's exciting. Um, 
really really enjoyed using that and then with that even though i don't need as much of it because of how great a coverage that is the elf um 16 hour camo concealer is fantastic this is a lighter shade than what i would normally need because i would use it under my eyes for brightening purposes but it's really cheap and cheerful and it's a very good dupe for the Tarte Shape Tape which I have also professed love for in previous favourite videos. So if you want something that's more affordable and you want some nice, you know like nice stocking fillers, these are, I would be so happy. Bearing in mind you would have to know the person quite well and be able to like colour match them or whatever but I'd be so chuffed with stuff like this and um, I really can recommend them. I'm very, very pleased with them. Uh, I would just make sure that as with any foundation, you moisturise properly before applying it to help it go on nicely. So that is those. Um, next two beauty bits. This was, this has been all over the internet and it is the NARS Orgasm palette. Now I had the NARS Orgasm blusher back in the day when it was like the only blusher anybody ever wanted to use on YouTube and stuff. Um, and this is beautiful it's so wearable i have it on my eyes today and you know when you just want a really easy neutral eye look that doesn't have loads of colors to choose from that get confusing this is great and it's really versatile i think it would be fabulous for weddings as well so i might keep that on my list for the big day next year which i have not planned anything for i have booked a venue and registered our like wedding i think that that's what the term is not done anything else because of covid i don't really know what to expect even by september next year um and i don't know like whether certain like caterers will be available and stuff and i got covid chubby so i don't want to buy a wedding dress yet either so you know if all else fails i'll be able to turn up and have nice eyeshadow which is the main thing it is pricey um but as i mentioned before like makeup is a huge passion of mine so i didn't he hesitate when it came to buying myself something recently, I've not really bought any clothes for a long time uh, because of the aforementioned COVID weight. So this was kind of, um, you know, at least my, my eyes will always look nice. So that is that. And then an oldie but a goodie, NYX Soft Matte Lip Creams, except this time I'm wearing the shade London a lot, which is what I have on today. And it's a really good, like, neutral. It's quite similar to Max Velvet Teddy, I feel. So if you've ever wanted to try that, this is a lot cheaper and i really really enjoy these so that's been another favorite as well and then these little clips the non-denting hair clips that everybody wears all the time these were an amazon purchase and they are as good as they say because they just let they lie flat against your hair and you don't get that dent so when you put your makeup on you don't like ruin your hair if you've killed it the night before or something and daisy quite likes them as well she thinks they're pretty she always tries to steal the pink one um so they are great as well i, I know they, these are a bit weird but like i've been using them a lot so they must be a favorite sorry my card ran out of memory um this is the third video that i have filmed today and um i think i've been a bit of a chatty cathy because they're all quite long but you're quite lucky that you get to have the edited version where i'm not chatting about for half an hour so the next few things are like homey cleaning -y, smelly bits um and the first ones are these i wasn't sure if i was going to like them because they are the scent rose wonderland they're mrs hinch's bold all-in-one pod type thing and they had um i had the um, fabric conditioner to go along with them and i loved them like i don't normally like like floral scents in that way like you know like rose and lavender they're not my jam and um, they remind me of like people say they like their granny scents or they say that my grandma doesn't smell like that at all <laughs> she smells like perfume and grandma um but yeah i didn't know if i was gonna like them but i loved them like the box is really handy as well it has like a child proof and evidently charlotte proof lock um i can't open them i don't know why i'm trying to open them anyway because they're empty you can't hear them but they're little pods that look like these and they were just great they were so handy like just to chuck one in the drum every time and they smell amazing and i have run out and i am moving on to the surf um frosted pine and apple ones because that's my christmas go-to um but i loved these so if you do see them they're definitely worth a go because they smell cracking and you know it's the little things if it makes you enjoy doing laundry a bit more which i bloody hate then um why not so that's those this is one that made a a swift like last minute entry because i bought it the other day but i love it won't spray it now because a this isn't smell of vision you can't smell it anyway but also because there's a puppy sleeping and i am um, i don't want to like put it in his lungs but it's good for like loos and stuff or wankers and 
puppies and cats aren't in the room and you just want to freshen it up or something. Um, this is the Febreze Air Mist in Sugar Plum Delight. They also had a pine one and they also had a apple and cinnamon-y type one. I normally go for the apple and cinnamon scents because that's just how I roll. Like, I love those smells. But um, I decided to go for this one and it is so nice. It is... It's sweet and pretty, but somehow it does make you think of Christmas and I absolutely love it. If you followed me for any length of time, you know I love my smells. Like, I don't like bad smells. Me and Daisy have got super sensitive noses for some reason and, like, we're a big fan of nice smells. So I'm going to chuck that one on the sofa. And then, on the topic of nice smells, I have to mention these again because I think I mentioned them in my last video, but I burn them every day. Every day without fail I will burn wax melts and I usually get a couple of days out of like I will break off like two chunks at a time and it will last me a couple of days and I love them and these are the Cheshire melts um wax melts I buy I buy them all myself um but they are local to me and I just want to give them a big shout out again they are you can order online which is always a positive especially at the moment um because even I will order online just to save having to go anywhere unnecessarily which is especially prevalent at the moment with the second lockdown um this is one that I really like it's dark amber and ginger lily but they did um halloween like scents so loads of different ones and i am so excited for the christmas ones because i'm just waiting i'm literally waiting for them to go like they're live and i'm just gonna buy all of them because i love them like smells at this time of year they just uh, they make me so happy um so i thought i would mention these again because they're great and they are so affordable as well I also think if you bought a few of these and then got a tea light holder, like no, a, a wax melt holder thing from B&M and some tea lights, they would make such a cute present for like a friend or a teacher or like a family member or putting in stockings and stuff. I think it would be so nice and really, really affordable because like a bar is like a pound and a bit, like under two pounds, something like that. And you could buy a couple of them and it would be under a tenner and it'd be such a brilliant present. Um, like i'm inspiring myself here but yeah can't recommend those enough so last things that i've got to show you and then i'm going to talk about telly um are these so i as a disclaimer have worked with the nescafe dolce gusto machines in the past however this isn't is it's not an ad and i bought these with my own money um i'm just obsessed i'm so i don't know what it is i well no i do i think that even up until today you could obviously go to um like coffee places or like starbucks and costa and stuff like that and get you drinks um but i've mainly been sticking to like local places when i want a coffee because they're not like chains and like i want to support someone that like works locally and it's their business um but then when it comes to like festive flavors you don't always get them and i thought i'm just gonna make them at home so first off you can get the starbucks toffee nut latte limited edition pods for the nescafe dolce gusto machine as i've mentioned i'm obsessed i just they're so nice they are sweet normally i like my coffee really strong with a very very little bit of milk uh, but for some reason i just really like these and then also for that same machine um the latte macchiato amaretto profile round and unctuous wow um but i love both of them and they are they're not like a morning coffee for me they would be like an afternoon one where i want like a pick me up and something a bit sweet and a bit like oh christmas um you can also buy these by the way in the sachet so if you don't have a coffee machine don't fear because you buy the sachet mix it with like boiling water and you can make it that way as well so they are great i found these in b and m and these i have seen in tesco and sainsbury's and probably more places besides i think some people found them in asda so definitely keep an eye out for those especially if you're doing your weekly like essential shop um or you nip into the shop for something that you really need like keep an eye out for them because um it's nice to have something to look forward to at home at the moment so there's those so now on to telly and also the radio so we'll start with telly i just wanted to share a few shows that i am really loving at the moment because there's been a few there's been quite a lot actually um i am not a telly watcher unless i don't know i, I normally read or scroll or to be honest i work a lot if i've got some free time i won't work um i just like to keep busy i know isn't it annoying it's annoying i, I don't get it either um but when mark and i watch telly like he he sort of like 
calmed me down a bit and we watched stuff together and it's great anyway um there are four things that i've really been enjoying watching with him the first one was i think it's called love story with anna kendrick in we found this on bbc iplayer and it was just amazing it kind of told the story of the way love affects you and not just romantic love but platonic love or like family love um, and how it can change a person and it's just the journey that it takes you on but without being twee it was like funny and gritty and like do you know it was re more real than you know what what i'm i'm not really doing it justice but just watch it okay you'll like it um another one is um emily in paris now admittedly this is one that i watch on my own like it's just like i saved it for me because it's quite girly and mark would just read it um so he watches like football or something rubbish like that and i watch this and again it's kind of got that like modern day sex in the city kind of vibe to it um it's a little bit more like obvious with its humor but it's quite funny and like quite open about topics like sex and all of that and it's it also touches on social media as well which is quite interesting i guess if you're like someone like me but you don't have to be like an influencer to enjoy it because i thought it was fantastic um the next two however i just oh my god i'm I love them. This is Oz season five is back. Yes, it's on Amazon Prime. Um, obviously they're releasing it week by week, so I'm being drip fed it, so I can't binge watch, which is annoying, but I just forgot how much I loved it. I don't want to ruin it because they've been so clever with it and it is written for you right now. So if you haven't watched it before, start with season one. Again, I say this every time, it's been so many favourites videos, but I'm so jealous of you if you've got all of it ahead of you yet, because it's one of the most beautiful things that I've ever watched in my life, and Mark and I both absolutely love it. So get crack a -lack in with season five, it's amazing, and you will be very touched when you watch it, that's all I'll say. And then, the newest thing that we started watching, which again is being drip fed to me, because it's like week by week type thing, um, I feel like I'm not used to watching telly like that anymore, I want it all on demand and I want it now. Um, but that is The Undoing and it has Nicole Kidman and Hugh Grant in and we've only watched two episodes and I'm now just waiting for next Monday like I need to watch the next one now it's so good and it's like a thriller uh, but not in a like spooky spooky scary way it's more of like I need to know what happened you need to try and work this out and it's amazing um so yeah those are the things that I've really enjoyed watching my hearing aid battery is running out which is really distracting and then the final thing is magic radio magic radio and magic chilled radio i'm sure there are other magics um i think they might do a christmas one actually do magic do a christmas one you'll have to let me know i've listened to this non-stop if i wasn't filming right now it would be on we leave it on anyway for the dog so he gets used to like background noise and then if we ever like we try and like we're practicing leaving him for like short bursts of time radio is a good thing for a for a puppy but the music just makes me really happy i put it on every day when i come down in the morning and i make myself a brew and i'm chatting to the kids and it's just been doing wonders for me and speaking of dogs actually i've forgotten my biggest favorite one second how could i make this video without you hmm he's a little bit tired actually you were nodding off weren't you i'm sorry to have disturbed you but this is merlin if you've not already seen him he is are you 11 weeks old now i think you are aren't you 11 weeks old yeah you are when you're 11 weeks old and he is just the best thing that has ever happened to us this year like he has been a breath of fresh air haven't you oh you do like a tummy tickle don't you but he's just amazing he's he's given this like really cute chilled out vibe at the moment but he's actually in the furry piranha stage so if you have ankles <laughs> prepare for them to be nibbled oh thank you oh oh yes lovely oh he's um he's just amazing he makes the kids so happy he can go on walkies on saturday which we're really excited about and i think he will love because he's getting to that age now where you know when he's not tired he's just bouncing off the walls and we're always playing in the garden with him but he's just been amazing and he's the sweetest boy and he's so good with the kids but yeah melon you are my number one favorite you are you are such a good boy 
oh oh don't eat me <laughs> anyway um yeah me and this beautiful fluffy yellow dog <laughs> I'm gonna go now. I need to tidy up and do some quick emails and then go and get my kids. So have a lovely day, whatever you are up to. Try and stay positive, stay safe, and um I will hopefully see you all very, very soon. Bye.